Welcome! In this video I will quickly go over how you can draw with dashed or dotted lines in Unity. There is also a link in the description where you can download this demo project. First we will need to set up the Universal Render Pipeline. For this go to the Package Manager in the Unity Registry and install the URP. I've already set everything up in this project, but here you can create a new pipeline asset. Then you will need to go to the project settings and under graphics set the scriptable render pipeline. Now that we have set up the URP, we can create a sprightly shader graph. To use this shader graph, we have to make a material first. Next we are going to create a line renderer. For this you can simply create an empty game object and add the line renderer as a component. So that we can see the line I'm going to increase the X value, set the texture mode to tile and select the new material. Down here you can set the shader of this material to the new shader graph. By double clicking you can see the nodes. I've already prepared the setup. You can also just copy them from the demo project in the description. Now we just need to connect the output to the alpha socket, then don't forget to save the asset and it's already working. You can change the width and height of the shapes by changing these values. For dotted lines you can use the ellipse and for dashed lines the rectangle. So that we can instantiate multiple objects with line renderers in our script, we first have to create a prefab out of this object. This script will allow us to draw multiple animated lines by instantiating the prefab we made. Every time we press the left mouse button and as long as we hold it, more positions of the line renderer will be added by the method I called free draw. To test how you can access properties of shader graphs, I've created this method. With the reference you can see in the graph inspector, you get access to any property. Just make sure to rename it to something that makes sense or copy and paste the default reference into your code. Now that our script is done, we just have to create an empty game object, add the script and then select the material and prefab. Now we are ready to hit play. Just hold down the left mouse button and draw animated lines. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to get new video updates.